Look. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, for those who um, uh, follow the channel, you already know when I am in this area where I do my cutting on my fabric and stuff is, that means my haul is going to be a big one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have quite a few things to share with you. And, um, yeah, as you can tell, <laughs> had a visitor. Um, but, anyway, we're going to jump into it. So, the day you're seeing this, I want to say, is going to be after the 4th. Yes. So for um, those in the United States, I hope you had a very nice, long, extended weekend for the 4th and that all is well. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. By the time you see this, um, it'll be Wednesday, July 7th. So stay tuned. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell because then on Sunday, I will be doing two things, announcing the winner from the giveaway from my video a couple of videos ago um, on the Sunday the 11th. I'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway and I'll be sharing my haul for my sewing mood board. You all know I chose um, seven looks plus two handbags and I had all of the fabric, everything in my color palette, everything. And so... I'm so excited. So I will be sharing all of that on Sunday. But this haul, because I was shopping for fabric for my mood board, I just ended up buying other fabric, still in my color palette. Um, but for it'll be for other looks and other things. And then I also picked up some patterns and just some miscellaneous stuff. So I thought I would share. Um, for those who uh, don't know, I am originally from Wisconsin and the day I'm recording this is game six of the Milwaukee Bucks against the Atlanta Hawks. So sorry, Atlanta folks, but yeah, of course I'm rooting for um, our Bucks to take it so we can head on right into the finals. So I am so excited about that. And I haven't worn my hair out in eons. I will be getting another protective style soon, but it is thriving. You all know I'm looking to um, get it back to mid back length. Um, which I've always had for many years and then it just over the years I wasn't taking care of it but it is growing it was um about right here but now it's it's, it's getting there but anyway so I thought I would wear it out and hopefully you will be able to see everything because we have been getting a lot of rain in Texas it's an overcast today we were able to get our outdoor workout in um right at the end it started raining and so which was the perfect timing so got my indoor and outdoor workout in today so so excited and looking forward to the game so let's go ahead and jump into this haul so like i said i have some um just some t some maybe some tools here some um patterns pattern uh pattern book i want to uh, share with you that finally came and then um some other notions and then i'll do fabric last because that is the most i think i have to share with you today so anything that i'm thinking won't show up here i'll just pop a picture up so you can see and so yes so let's get started so i have let me just show you some this is some um webbing actually um i need two inch wide webbing for a handbag well two hand handbags um i'll be making one requires one and a half inch the other one is a two inch wide um and so that's what came this came from um webbing plus but i got it off of um Etsy. Etsy is always a good place to find stuff like this. Um, but anyway, I got two inch of the purple webbing. Um, I still haven't decided um, the exterior of that bag, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this purple webbing for the handles. Um, and, the, and I'll share with you what that is at a later date when I get that far. And then this here is a wine color. And so those came in. And then this is actually a purchase for my business for those who <laughs> follow um, the Fabric Boutique. Um, I bought a whole bunch of, this is webbing from another Etsy uh, shop. It's from Karen's Hobby Room on um, Etsy, but I make um, 
these children cases and so I had I'm modifying that um, design and I want to use some webbing to make handles so this is like an orangey color you can tell a lavender I think I bought six and then this cute um, uh, like blue and kind of aqua color hopefully you can see that see these colors a little bit and then the last two I bought are yeah this pink and emerald green so so super cute so i am working on updating some new um oh okay so she has also updated her website so she has um she's on etsy but um she also has an actual website so i will link to the website in the description box so but anyway there's a design um for my business I'm gonna modify and that webbing will come in handy. So let's get into patterns, 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 patterns. So one of the patterns I picked up, I picked this up in May, May. So it was July when you're seeing this. Um, so it was a couple months ago, um, but this is from Simplicity and I picked this up. Um, I saw, I've been seeing so many versions of this and you guys are gonna laugh cause I'm gonna show you a pattern that I picked up as well that they're the exact same. And I think, let me know if you're interested. I will do a comparison. I'm thinking about doing a, you know, side by side type thing, and give a review on between these two. Um, Cause yeah, these are really the same patterns. Um, but I picked up Simplicity 9124. I don't know, you won't be able to see that. So I'll pop up a picture here. Um, I really like this. I've seen several versions on, um, um, if you uh, over on Instagram, so pretty, and um, yeah, I want to I want to give it a try, and so I did look at the measurements and everything, and I was like, okay, um, I'm starting to fall into some commercial. I so, but you all know, I don't necessarily believe commercial. Their sizing is still not the best, um, even their larger size ranges. But anyway, I picked up um, Cynthia Rowley Simplicity 9141. It was $1.99 at the time of purchase. And then I picked up, and yes, like I said, these are the same to me, same patterns. You might have a few extra options though with this one. Um, it's the Violet Field Threads. Um, I think it's called Isla um sheer bodice top and dress with multiple skirt options now that's the thing that's a little bit different um between this and the uh, cynthia raleigh let me see if i can try to pop up both of them so you can see but you get way more skirt options with the violet fills threads um and this went on sale in may and I picked it up. I forget what it was on sale for, but when it went on sale, I, I purchased it. And so, but they have so many more tiered options and you can play a little bit more with it that you don't have to force in maybe the Cynthia Riley 9141. So if you want to do multiple tiers as opposed to just the two, one, two, three tiers in the simplicity and you want to do like more tears and whatnot in the violet field threads you most certainly can but anyway so i think those that are pretty much the same pattern and so i'm thinking about doing this um a comparison between the two let me know if you're interested in that because i'm actually sourcing fabric um yeah all the fabric i, I do i'll be sharing with you today is not for this <laughs> for neither one of these so um but i'm just excited so so excited about just making um all of the dresses but anyway um, the next pattern I picked up, actually picked this up last month because it just got released and it is the Itch to Stitch Glenly Top and Dress. And of course, when I talked about this in my Sew and Buzz video, which if you did not see, go back and check it out because I interviewed uh, Divine Dita from Instagram and we collaborated on the Made by Ray Emerald Dress, which you would have just seen that video. Um, let's see here. Um, this past Sunday. So <laughs> yeah, go check that out if you missed it. But um, anyway, lo absolutely love the neckline. You all know I, I, I love necklines. I'm drawn to certain necklines. And this was one with the little raglan sleeve look for the Glenly top that I was definitely drawn to. So I picked that up. Um, I also picked up the um, Cashmere new release. This was released in June actually. Um, 
uh this was this is the uh, rose clear dress and um you can also you can also modify this to make it a top as well um but um i did go ahead and pick this up this will be a collaboration so look out for that coming up soon but yep i sure did i picked up the rose clear um it it finally came i picked up the um as you can see here the uh uh building the pattern book by named clothing and what i did of course i've gone through it already i've tabbed all of the <laughs> i've tabbed all of the pattern um so i can easily go to them when i want to make them up so quite a few of you when i first uh, talked about this in a sewing buzz a couple months ago because i want to say this came out in may um when i went out to the name website so this is my error so i went when i went out to the um, their website they had when you click on the size chart their sizing has increased however I didn't pay attention to the size chart for the book I just assumed that the sizing would be the same and so it is not and so for those who told me no the sizing is not that size inclusive for that book i'm thinking yeah it is because that's what i saw on the website nope you guys were right that's the um i would say the only disappointing thing about this considering that they have already started um upgrading their size range and everything um on their website that's the thing that i am disappointed by is this is not a size inclusive um book um because it only goes up to um a full bust of um and this is uh, body measurements, 45 and um, 5 eighths, waist 39 and 1 fourth, and the hip 48 and 3 fourths. Now, in full disclosure, I fit into the their highest range. And so um, I'm fine and comfortable having bought the book that I didn't waste my money on it. Um, and plus for some of these designs, there there is um, additional ease um, built into them. But yeah, I, I am disappointed this is not, because I think this is a really good book. It takes a lot for me to buy a pattern book because <laughs> um, I've had a couple in my past and I've always given them away after a couple years but this one I was like dang I really like um the not only the simplicity of the designs but the opportunity to really play with the designs as well and um and yeah the techniques that it looks like is built into the book um because um you can switch the patterns combine them and and all of that in there um, in this book and fitting um it also has pattern alteration techniques in here all of that good stuff and so I think it's a real good resource to have, but then also to have the patterns, which there are three, four, five, six patterns. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all in the back. So if you once you open this up, all of the patterns are back here. And I did take a peek at this. Um, the overlapping, um, as I've seen on other videos, is not bad. It's not like Berta because I can't stand how Berta looks with all that overlapping but um <laughs> this is not that bad I'm still overlapping so um of course you'll be tracing um the patterns um and I want to say you have the option if you purchase the book to download the patterns as well so if you do you can't cut into <laughs> you can't cut into this but um I believe you do have the option to go onto the website to get the patterns as well um so yeah finally got it in it didn't take long it took what three and a half weeks i think i posted on instagram so not long at all um but that is the only uh disappointing thing is that the size i don't think the size is very um size inclusive for that book but moving on or oh, i forgot to share a notion and then i'm gonna get into the fabric i was in desperate need of um, clear envelopes. A lot, a lot of people always ask me what envelopes do I use to store my, you know, all know when I store my um, indie patterns, they go into a plastic envelope. These are the ones I always get from, um, I, um, I switch off. If I need something fast, I'll go to the dollar store, um, but they don't always have them because I only like clear, clear uh, plastic um, holders. And so if I run and they don't have them, then I'll just order in bulk um, and just wait to store what I need to store. And so that's what I did. Um, Cause you get 30, 
that's only like 12.99 so it's much cheaper than a dollar store um and i will link to this down in the description box um it's from my amazon store which is an affiliate link but for those who have asked in the past um that is what i do where i get mine from because that's how i like to store my indie patterns so let's jump into the fabric i am so super excited about this fabric okay y'all y'all know that um ankara appreciation week is next week when you're seeing this so make sure that you are watching my channel because and over on instagram because i will be posting what i am making from for Ankara Appreciation Week. Um, as a matter of fact, I have planned um, four different looks, um, new looks. These are all new looks. I do have one that has already been made. I'll wear that during that week. Um, but um, I have four new looks that I am so um, excited about. And um, let me just uh, again confirm for you the date of the um ankara uh, appreciation week it is and i think i said this already in my um sewing buzz is july 12th through the 18th so that's a what is that tuesday through a saturday let me just look here monday through a sunday i was off <laughs> so it's the 12th through the 18th so i will be sh sharing with you on the um 14th and the 18th and I think the 21st. Um, so I'll be showing you one that would have already been posted. But um, I will be making a skirt, which I'm so excited about. Um, next to dresses, I absolutely love wearing skirts. Now, the thing with skirts, it gives me the opportunity to have tops, make tops to go with them. With dresses, I'm not really looking to make anything to go with them unless it's a cardigan or something like that. But for skirts, I don't know how I've been sleeping on making more skirts more frequently. And when I show, share with you this type of skirt, it's my number one type of skirt to wear. And again, I don't know why I have not been making them. But anyway, I am making a skirt um, out of Ankara. I am making two dresses out of Ankara. And I will be doing the um, Sew Your Bag um founders box bag so if you saw the sew your bag video um the subscription box handbag subscription box i will be making that bag because it is ankara fabric so i will be sharing with you a couple of companies that um sell ankara actually let me put those up first i'm gonna show you my ankara um i'll show you all my ankara first um and I will leave links down below if you haven't heard of these fabric companies. You probably have because I've purchased from them multiple times. <laughs> um, so you probably have already heard from them. Um, this first one is, um, um, this is Femi uh, Fabrics. And for those who follow her over on um, Facebook, um, Instagram, and everything like that. Now, if you're part of her Facebook, um, what is it? She has a Facebook group um and she does pop-ups in her group and that might not go on the website and it's always some good stuff and so this is and the only thing i for, totally forgot to do i do apologize in advance i did not go out to the website to read what is the um if the particular design has a meaning um i forgot to do that prior to this video so i will link to the shop down in the description box and you can go check that out but anyway this is from femi fabrics this first one i'm going to share with you and what she um always shares is uh her top tips on how to uh, treat your ankara and how to pre-treat it how to remove the label all of that um good stuff so that is um, what she receives. Now this I received is three yards um, of fabric and this is one of the designs that will be addressed. And of course you all know it is going to be in my colors. <laughs> Purple has always been one of my colors, right? So that's not a shock, but here it is. I think you can see it. Let me hold it from salvage to salvage. So here is the design look at that isn't that nice let me hold it up so you can see it 
actually with the overcast these colors are coming across really are, are spot on so i absolutely love this i don't know if the dress i make will go like this or if i'll do it like this i don't know it's it ties at the shoulders so if you have any thoughts let me know should i i don't know if i want to do it like this <laughs> or if i want to do it like this i don't know I haven't the slightest idea but anyway this is the um my first ankara fabric again this is from femi fabrics that i have picked up um and so yeah this is already planned for for sure and then and her fabric comes in these bags nicely labeled it comes with a piece of candy too but yeah i ate that um actually this is how it comes <laughs> and then the candy uh you can't really see but then the candy is in here so this one i had cut it so i can get the piece of candy out don't judge me um so anyway this one is oh she was having a um a pop-up sale and this is silk satin chiffon sets and so it's a total of six yards this first one i told you was three yards but when this when she did her pop-up i could not pass this up i just could not did i tell you the price the price of um the three yards uh with shipping and all that was 26 dollars 26.75 this one with the in keep in mind these things were on sale at the time i don't know if these are on her website i will leave her website down below if i can find the fabric on the website i'll leave the direct link to the uh fabric on the website but either way you'll see her uh um website link below this one i'm getting ready to show you was uh with shipping and everything is 58.75 and so when she showed this i fell in love and this one how it comes is um i want to say there was two yards of it that's um separate yes so you got four so let me just show it to you here's four yards that's separate and so if you can see this is coming off so true to color this overcast actually worked in my favor today um but look at that isn't that absolutely stunning and this is two yards right of the chiffon and this is going to be say it with me a head wrap <laughs> not the full two yards but i will measure out about how much i want this to be um a head wrap um but yeah isn't that gorgeous absolutely and you can see how sheer that is um but this is the chiffon isn't that gorgeous so so pretty so so oh that is gorgeous and so um hold on my battery is about to cut off one sec i will be right back all right everybody i'm back so this is the silk of the silk chiffon six yard total so this is four yards the chiffon was two um and if you can tell there's little diamond studs within the fabric look at that so pretty so so pretty and um it is again four yards of this let me hold this up so you can see isn't that gorgeous look at that drape this is so pretty and um at least with the um overcast this is coming up across true to color but look at that design absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and so yes um that is what i picked up from femi fabrics um this next one is from wax prints lace and more and um this one is going to to be addressed this one i already know because this will be go up for ankara week the first one i showed you will be up for ankara week this one um i'm not sure what went when i will make something out of the silk out of the one i just showed you not sure about what i'll make out of that one but the first one is already coming up for this month and so is this one this one is from wax prints lace and more and so um so she includes her card in there and this is six yards actually this didn't come with a um a 
khaki slip. So I don't remember how much this was. It was on sale. I do know that she was having a sale at the time, but let, it's a border print, which I love. So here it is. Oh, you can't see the bottom. <laughs> let me show you the bottom. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is the bottom. And as we go up, and this is coming off true to color. So if it's coming off like this vibrant, deep orange, it is. It really is. Um, it's coming off true to color. And so as you go to the other end of the border, you have this. So I have the dress I'm thinking about for this. And again, you'll just have to stay tuned to see what that is. I will be cutting this on the cross grain because, um, and I should be able to get away with it. Um, yeah, I'll be able to get away with it. Um, because I want to do the bottom of the dress I'm making with this uh, side of the border. And then I want the sleeves. I think I should be able to pull that off with this in. And so, um, yeah. But I have six yards. I have plenty of it. And I actually do want to do a head wrap um, as well. The simple head wraps like the one I have on. <laughs> That's one I made for myself that you just tie. Um, so yes, I have six yards of this, which is absolutely beautiful. This is the uh, design at the top. Can you see that? That's the design at the top. And this is the design, if I didn't show you closely, that's the design at the bottom. So, yay, 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 yay. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of fabric washing to do this weekend. Um, this one I'm going to wash by itself because I can tell this will probably bleed. Um, and I'll probably need to definitely be careful because it has the white in there and that orange might bleed into there. So I have to be careful uh, with that. So that is it for my um, Ankara pieces. And so let's move on to um, the rest. So, okay, this is Joann's. I went to Joann's for a couple things and they had a sale going on. I don't really, cause this is when did I buy this? At this time I kept the receipt in so I can um, put this, uh, the link to the fabric I'm showing you down in the description box from the website. But um, I purchased this on June 11th. So it's been a while, kind of sitting around. This, uh oh. This fabric is actually a batik. And this will be lining inside my um, handbag that I'll be sharing with you in my next haul. So actually, I'm going to throw that over there because um, I'll have to show it to you again. So anyway, I, that's what I was looking for and I got that. But they're linen, linen mix. This is um, linen rayon was on sale. And I forget, got the receipt right here. This is... It was on sale for $7.99 a yard. The regular, I don't know what the regular price was, but then the, um, I had a rewards, a smiles reward where you get $10 off. That's why I went <laughs> because my rewards was expiring and I said, I'm using this $10. And so, um, so I figured I will find my bag lining and end up finding this as well. But this is a ray, uh, rayon linen mix and this is nothing spectacular about it. It's a lavender color, as you can tell. Very nice, very pretty. Um, I have no immediate plans for this, um, but obviously you all know this is in my color palette and I absolutely love this color. And so I figured, you know what? I will pick it up. And so to get an additional $10 off was awesome. Um, Cause I think it said the normal price is looking like would have been $60, but I ended up getting it for 23. So pretty good deal, right? Um, so I pick that up, that is Joann's. And then if you all follow Nicole, um, at least textiles on um, Instagram. You, she had, did she have a sale? No, she did not have a sale. Um, she was posting different, actually, I didn't open this up. 
Okay, actually she was posting, you know, uh, fabric stores post the fabrics that they have in stock and everything. And wouldn't you believe it, this fabric had all a lot of my colors from my color palette. And so for those who are new, who don't know what I'm talking about, I've had my professional colors done. Absolutely love it. It confirmed things I did know and then enhanced what I didn't know. And it allows me to continue to build not just my wardrobe, but my whole uh, lifestyle, my life and how I represent myself to the world now knowing um, my colors. Um, but anyway, so when she posted this, it took none but a hot second for me to go on her website and order it. And so I'm opening it now. This is how it comes. Oh, this bag is cute. This it comes inside this inner bag. But this is a oh, it doesn't have a I know it's a it's, it's a woven, but it doesn't have the because I don't remember. I don't remember the name of it. If it's on the website, I will just link to it, but I'll link to her website regardless um, down in the description box. But anyway, it is a woven. When she posted this, I was like done and done. I'm getting that. Look at this. Look at all these colors. All of these colors are in my color palette, but they're all on this one <laughs> fabric. <laughs> I absolutely love this. And I'm thinking I want to do a shirt dress out of this. Um, and it is narrow. This is a much more. So if you can tell, um, this looks like it's about 45 inches wide. So it is a little bit more narrow. But this will make the absolute perfect shirt dress. And I have... Because if you order from, if you've ordered from Nicole Elise before, you know her fabric comes in bundles. And so this was a six yard bundle. And I, again, I apologize. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but look at that. Isn't that, th th oh my gosh, all these colors are me. All of these colors. And so I'm thinking a shirt dress, but I would like to do, I'm thinking about doing a, a hack with the skirt I'll be sharing for Ankara and adding that skirt onto um, a shirt dress bodice. Um, we shall see, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but this is so beautiful. And like I said, I have a whopping six yards of this stuff. <laughs> so I can do a couple things out of this. Um, I'm sh Maybe, maybe, depending on um, how much fabric the skirt eats up, um, and then because the bodice it won't eat up anything, but the it's the skirt piece and I should probably still be able to get something else um, out of it. I think some um, If I can get some shorts out of it, that would be cute um, But yeah, absolutely love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. And so that is from Nicole Elise and then the next one, this is from Minerva. So this will be a um, Minerva blog post when I do share this one. Um, this here is a, a viscose chali. I have 2.7 um, meters and this is in the color terracotta. And, and thank you Minerva for sending this out. Actually, I ordered this months ago but it never showed up and so they had to resend it so thank you Minerva for resending it it got lost somewhere and so um so it finally came it, it, look at that isn't that beautiful beautiful oh yes and I think I'm confident that this is going to be one of two things I'll probably stick to my original thought um of this being an eve dress for my soul revisit um you all know i've talked about that several times in my um videos that i am going to revisit some patterns i made at my larger size and so um the eve dress is one of those and so um when i saw this look at these big old leaf prints <laughs> Um, when I saw this, I was like, oh, that would be a beautiful Eve dress. And so I think I'm going to stick to that. I was going back and forth between this, that and something else, which is still possible. Y'all know how we are as sewists. Um, but yeah, so 
absolutely beautiful 2.7 meters is what i received in the mail and of course yes that's gonna be a color uh that looks absolutely stunning on um so yeah so i'm thinking that's what that will be um this here fabric is from fabric.com and um this i actually ordered for um this is a let me see and i actually ordered this through amazon so you know fabric.com um is now owned by amazon and so you can order fabric through amazon if you have prime you get free shipping and so um i ordered this through amazon and it's called a it's a robert kaufman fabric it's just a solid color it's called a kobe twill and it is in burgundy um <clears throat> which is from my color palette is not from one of the seven that um i chose to make but one of the pieces I'm making will go with those seven pieces, which is the closet core Pietra Pietra uh, pants. So, and it's a very lightweight till. It's not twill. It's not heavy, and it's just and it's coming off true to color. That color is absolutely stunning. But um, yes, yeah, so it's coming off true to color. This is a twill, and so it does have a little bit more body to it, um, which is nice, and. How many yards did I get of this? Again, I'll link this below. Uh, it'll probably be linked um, in my Amazon. But I got three yards. And I know I don't need three yards for the Pietra. Um, so I was thinking um, anything left over, we'll see what I will do uh, with it. But so yeah, that's what this is. Um, that's fabric.com. And then last but not least in this haul is from um mood so mood why was i on mood because i was looking for oh i was looking for because you all know i am doing the um mimi g the cargo pants that i'll share in the next video and so i was just looking out there to see if i can find because i want that exact same color which is a olive green and so mood had some which is right here so i will actually probably not make this until um this is called a stratton olive solid organic cotton twill <laughs> that's a long name but i got three yards of it and um i will not make this probably until it's a little cooler in that color the color i'm gonna make those pants and those mimi g pants i'll share with that in the haul video you'll see coming up on sunday but anyway i just wanted to have it and i don't know if they they must have been having a sale or something because i know i got a percentage off and so i just went ahead and picked that up but while i was out there um because i also enjoyed sewing with um the fabric gauze um and i'll definitely leave a link down um for all these fabrics i see that they made sure to include a slip here so three yards of the twill and then two yards each of this double gauze so i have a lilac it's called tala talamanca fragrant lilac double gauze <laughs> that's this one so again it's, it's just a lilac color so there we go true to color right there double gauze and i also picked up and i reason i picked up two and two because I, there's a look i'm thinking about doing but it will be color blocked and so um this here is talamanca blue glass double cotton um gauze and so that is this color now this color is actually closer to the color that was in my color palette that um that i shared with you that i'm doing my other looks in but i figured this would be something cute color block i think i have an idea but i'm not sure yet so um but just stay tuned to see what i do so that is it that is it for this haul i am so excited about this haul i like i said i'm going going to link as much as i can of every um shop for the fabric that might still have the fabric in i'll link it in the description box below um if that fabric isn't in i'll still of course link the um the fabric shop uh, below and i'll link the etsy shops that i reference and i'll link down um if i can still find it on joanne's website the fabric i picked up from joanne's um but everything will be linked in the description box down below so 
that is it for this haul yes it was a long one um i am going to go ahead and put this stuff to the side and do my second haul which you will see on sunday make sure you stay tuned if you have not subscribed please subscribe don't forget to thumbs up this video on your way out you probably hear the thundering um, but uh yeah so stay tuned because sunday will be the all of the fabric for all of my looks um that i'm recreating for my summer 2021 move for yes i'm so excited um so anyway that is it everybody we will see you in the next video which for me will be in a few seconds and for you it'll be in a few days all right everybody have a good one bye